Oh, well, this thing is my Mac Pro and it's currently chugging away editing the last video that you guys saw on Friday and that is the last edit on the Mac Pro dramatic video. This video is going to be a little bit more exciting because we'll actually be deploying the Hackintosh as part of my main setup. The Mac Pro has been absolutely amazing but it's time to upgrade. I cannot wait to start using the Hackintosh as my main system. A couple of things I may have forgot to mention. Unfortunately for a little while I will not have access to all of my files in a perfect manner and I will not have an iTunes audio library or video library or my iTunes library in general stored on my Hackintosh which will be here, that's why I'm pointing here, this is my Mac Pro, my Hackintosh is over there out of frame. Um, I've ordered some drives so there will be some unboxings and whatnot. The basic plan is I'm going to start hosting my iTunes library on a portable hard drive. That way I can take it with me when I need to go places instead of transferring things to other drives because I often need to take my library with me, you know, gigs, whatever. Um, and when I'm in my new place and I've got my network fully set up properly, that portable hard drive will live plugged into one of my Mac minis and then the whole, the whole iTunes library will be hosted on the network and I'll be able to access it from any computer or device attached to that network, either wired or wireless. But for now, I'm just going to load it all onto a portable drive. I do not have that portable drive yet. I do have a portable drive, but I use it for stuff you use a portable drive for, uh, not my iTunes library. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But I got a drive on order. That's not the pressing issue. The pressing issue is I won't have all of my files. Nothing will be perfect to begin with, but upgrading to a new computer is kind of a slow process. So I'm going to get out of this terrible lighting condition now, and it's time that I uh, ripped off the Mac Pro from the setup. Sad times, but replaced it with a beast. As you guys can see, handbrake is complete. I'm very lucky because I handbrake straight to my server, so I do not need to leave the Mac Pro on to upload this video. It's Friday, the day I'm recording this video. You guys will be seeing this the following week sometime, um, but you can generally get an idea for the timeline based on Friday's video and the video now. I'm basically recording this straight after I recorded Friday's video. So what I'm going to do now is pause the camera, take a little bit of time and put some essential files from the Mac Pro onto the server so that I can access them when the Hackintosh is up and running. And I'm also going to take a picture of my dock just so I don't forget a few applications that I may need. I know for a fact that I don't have Photoshop or any of the Adobe stuff installed on my Hackintosh, but I think I'm just going to start using um, Photoshop on its own. Maybe even Photoshop Elements, I'm not too sure. I only use very basic features in Photoshop, but um, that will remain to be seen. But it is time for me to start uploading my video on my file server, right there, and then shut down the Mac Pro and uh, see where we go from there. So after popping a couple of files onto the server that I need for my day-to-day -day stuff, I am pretty much happy to shut this system down. Now this won't be a big dramatic shutdown for the last time because of course I'll have to boot it back up to reinstall it and I'll probably be booting it back up quite a few times to access files and stuff, even though I'll probably just toaster the drives uh, with my new drive toaster but I will have to boot it up for whatever reason and I still have DVDs that I have to burn. I've finished the wedding video but I'll have to make copies very soon so I'll probably have to do that on the Mac Pro in the next week or so but this is the last shutdown as the Mac Pro on my main setup so that's where the dramatic thing comes in. Um, these three screens say goodbye to the Mac Pro this has been the heart of my setup for four and a half years. Three, two, one, go. And yes, I said it wasn't going to be dramatic, but I still made it dramatic. I just can't help myself, guys. So until we hear the magic click from the power supply, there it is. The Mac Pro is shut down. So let's get a fresh angle. We might as well not waste any time. Let's unplug this system. So coming out the back of here, we've got all sorts of connections and they're pretty much all gonna go into my Hackintosh. So it's a really easy kind of computer swap. It's just swapping the machine itself. Of course, we've got power. Now I did save a proper Power Mac power cable for my Quicksilver. Um, I just can't remember where I put it, so I'll just be using this one for now until I can remember. We have VGA that I will no longer be using. The only reason I used it with this was because um, the GT640 had a VGA port for the third monitor. DVI for my main monitor. HDMI for one of my side monitors. Then we have three USB connections. They're all going to various things and it will be very nice to have uh, USB, much more USB and all USB 3 on my new system. Ethernet 
for obvious reasons, and a Firewire for my Apple EyeSight, and that's all I have connected to the Mac Pro. So it's literally as easy as that. I've moved the stuff from the top of the Mac Pro onto my windowsill, and we can just lift it off. Quite a heavy machine, and it is gonna be hanging around for a little while. Under here, we've just got a few things. This is the power supply for my drive toaster that I wanna to put as part of my permanent setup. So I'm gonna put that to one side and we'll do that in this video as well. And then all this is, is the power supply for my camcorder that does not need to be lurking under there. So that's that, put that to one side. And I am grabbing the Hackintosh that is quite a bit lighter than the Mac Pro, but still quite a dense system. And I'm popping that down on there, and there it is. A Power Mac sitting as part of my main setup, which is so, so awesome. Now again, I'm gonna be really happy when I find the white power cable, because it looks a lot nicer. But let's proceed to plug everything in. That shot was probably just a whole lot of my head, but nevertheless, switch that on. We'll get rid of that VGA later on. And let's boot up the system. Let's do it. Three, two, one, go. Now, I'm not sure if you guys know, I think I announced this on Twitter. I did in fact use this machine for a tiny while instead of my Mac Pro. I think it was like one weekend just to see how it was going. Here it is booting up. There's the Apple logo, magic, there we have it. The third monitor is still set to VGA from the use with my uh, Mac Pro. Yes, it is. So all I need to do is select DVI, and there we have it. Triple monitors, login, job done. Here we are on the desktop, as you guys can see. Just waiting a little bit for the rest of it to load. The menu bars on the other displays. Oh, here they are, you just have to click. Okay, great. So here we are, and just to prove it, guys, that we're on the Hackintosh. I'm already a little bit pre-set up, as you can see. Here we have it. I know it says Mac Pro early 2008, but it's 3.7 gigahertz Intel Core i7, 32 gigs of RAM, NVIDIA GeForce GTX 980. Everything is hunky-dory. There's all the drives. You can see the Time Machine drive is connected via USB 3.0, so USB 3.0 is working, but we all knew that anyway. So everything is looking good there. We are set up. You can just about see it in the frame there, the little beast. And it is quite a bit quieter than my Mac Pro, I think. Or probably just maybe the same volume, but I can't quite tell properly, um, thanks to the fact that my server shelf is really loud. So, I'm going to click around for a little bit and give you guys an update um, once I've come to another conclusion about this system. So the machine is currently powered off, and you guys may notice that I've got my curtain closed here. Now, unfortunately, I was... Uh, well, not unfortunately. Fortunately, I've been using the machine for hours without any problems and I've actually edited half of this video up until the point that you're seeing now just to test out speed and it's been working really well. And then I uh, got a random freeze just as I was moving some files around um, and I booted back up and noticed the temperatures were quite hot and you'll notice my curtain here. Unfortunately the sun had been coming in and it's heated up the side of the system quite significantly. Um, it's quite warm and this plastic is very thin so I opened the system and the inside of the metal it had conducted the heat from the Sun uh, right onto the back of the motherboard so that is something that I didn't think about now the Mac Pro the motherboard was on this side of the system so when the Sun came beaming down it didn't matter because it came through the side panel and that's it it didn't go anywhere else the Mac Pro fans kept it cool um, but because the motherboards on the other side that means this system will get hot a lot quicker from the window now, as you guys know, I'll be moving soon anyway, so it makes no difference to the system being here at the moment. You can see how thin the side panels are. If I drag the curtain back, you can actually see the, sh the sun shines through where I've drilled that fan hole. Right there, you can see the sun shining through the case, and I had no idea what that was um, before I pulled the curtain across. Um, so, basically, what I'm going to go and do now is go upstairs and get a proper big fan, um, a domestic, you know, house fan, and I'm going to open the side panel a little bit, put the fan on the stool, blow the air in, um, and see if the Hackintosh still freezes. Either that, or I might just leave it off for a little while to cool down, and then boot it up and see if we get freezes again. So, either way, I'm making this video on a Friday, so there's no rush to get it out, 
so I can give you guys updates, you know, whenever I want, basically. Well, guys, it's a day later, and I spent pretty much the rest of yesterday and some of this morning troubleshooting my Hackintosh a little bit. Uh, the freezes seemed to be really random, and I couldn't really pin them down. Um, but now my Hackintosh has been running for the past hour with the Heaven benchmark. The reason I'm, I'm, I'm using the Heaven benchmark is because I thought it could be a graphics related issue. Um, and I didn't know if my card was faulty or whatever, so I was very close to installing Windows to do some benchmarking in Windows today. But I don't really want to go down that road if I can avoid it. So I've been running on Heaven and the machine has been doing really, really well. Um, I'm not going to tempt fate or anything, so, you know, but it's doing okay right now and I've, d I've made a lot of changes and been through the forums and done a few recommended things that stop the freezing. This is my first Hackintosh, so I'm very new to this kind of thing. Now what I will say is I was hoping for this video to be a bit longer, but because I'm editing this video on the Hackintosh, I'm going to keep it short just in case I have issues with exporting and whatnot. I've kept all of the footage on the SD card, so if the worst comes to the worst, I can import and edit on my MacBook Pro um, if I can't get this video out from the Hackintosh. But if this last hour is anything to go by, I think we're okay. I've changed my system definition from Mac Pro 3.1 to iMac 14.1 um, just because it's much closer to the specifications of the actual machine. It's uh, Haswell iMac. Uh, 4771, this is a 4770, um, NVIDIA card, that kind of thing. Whereas the Mac Pro profile is totally different, of course. Um, that didn't seem to directly resolve the freezing issues, but it did really help, I think. Um, as you can see, we're pretty up and running now. And the reason I've got some applications just sitting on these windows is because I was trying to kind of whittle down to see what applications may have been causing freezing and just having Google Chrome and Mail open is absolutely fine, so I know they're okay now. But, like I said, I'm gonna keep this video short. There's a lot more excellent things to look forward to in terms of videos this week, guys, uh, with the Mac Pro and stuff. Just in the last day, I've made some negotia negotiations with a buyer and stuff, so expect to see a lot of that, and a lot of stuff has happened Mac-wise in the last day or so. Some stuff I can't announce to you, um, until next week, but I'll explain more about that in the vlog that I'll be uploading later on in the week. But anyway guys, thank you for watching my migration to my Hackintosh. Unfortunately it wasn't smooth, as you can see, but um, I wasn't really expecting it to be smooth. You know, it's a Hackintosh and it's my first one, so yeah, this, this is the general nature of them. But, as I said, hope you guys have enjoyed. Stay tuned for tomorrow's video, it's gonna be excellent, I hope. You guys are really gonna like that one, I think. Drop a comment down below with your thoughts give this video a thumbs up <laughs> give this video a thumbs up i can barely speak if you enjoyed it and of course as always i will see you in the next one so naturally i do not have either the audio track or the old video that i posted last to put in this little segment here so this is kind of blank and doesn't make sense but rest assured by the next project i edit i should hopefully have all of that stuff up and running like i say this is the first project i've edited with the hackintosh um so yeah i don't have access to the files that i need oh well uh hope you've enjoyed see you next time